The concept is that P by Q will terminate if Q has only 2 and 5 as the prime factors. Look at statement 1. 350 is a multiple of Q. So 350 is equal to Q into some integer, let's say K. 350 can be written as 7 into 50 is equal to Q into K. So now if Q has only 2's and 5's in it, that means if Q is equal to 50 or it is equal to one of the factors of 50, the answer would be yes, P by Q will terminate. And if Q has a 7 in it, then the answer can be no. So yes and no, both are possible. Therefore, statement 1 is not sufficient. Statement 2 alone gives very little information. 14 is not a factor, but 3 could be a factor. 11 could be a factor. So statement 2 alone is, of course, not sufficient. On combining, what do we get? On combining, many students will get this question wrong. Thinking that 14 is not a factor of Q would mean that Q does not have a 7 in it which is not the case on combining till yes and no both are possible. If Q is equal to 50 or one of the factors of 50, the answer would be yes. And if Q is not a multiple of 14, it does not mean that Q is not a multiple of 7. Imagine if Q is equal to something like 7 fives are 35 or 175 or 7 itself. For these values, C, 14 is not a factor of these values, but these values will not lead to a terminating value of P by Q. A very interesting question. There's a lot to be learned from this one. Even combining does not work and the answer is option E. The main concept is that if 14 is not a factor of Q, 7 can still be a factor of Q. E is the right answer choice.